What up, people? It's your boy Van Silk. What's your back in? Part three. Hey, yo. This is one thing I do, man. Yo, you know why I'm over here rocking this Fairlane Dickinson University uh, hoodie? Because I'm not a hoodie dude, you know, but uh, I'd like to thank my man Russell Robinson for Fairlane Dickinson University for sending me this uh, official Fairlane Dickinson sweatshirt. I'm gonna give it to my granddaughter so she can rock it because I like t-shirts. But, oh, everybody's a sad day in my life, a sad day. And my boy Charlie Rock, Anthony Horn. It's a sad day in the lives of the Black Spades, Zulu Nation, original OGs. Hold on one second, yo. Yo, I, yo come here, man. I gotta do this. Right, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, yo. I ain't gonna do too much. This is for my man, Pint Jules Jackson, who passed yesterday. Let me throw this on the side, yo. Uh, my man, Jules Jackson, who passed yesterday, 53 years old. And we lost a couple other brothers in the last eight, 10 days. We lost. I can't even think right now, man. But you know, over the summer, freight train died. You know, we just lost a couple of brothers. I really can't think, cause I've been real emotional about this right now. And and um, I really couldn't sleep last night, man, because Jules was a real dude, man. Like, like when everything jumped off early this year, he stuck up and he stood out. He spoke his mind. He been in the gym working out, 53 years old, getting his body together, moved down to Atlanta. He used to cut a lot of your brother's hair, Cool Kyle. He used to cut every, his father them had a barber shop. He used to cut everybody. He was a good brother, man. And it, like it really hurt me. It's like like right here in my heart to Jules Jackson Pike. We've been communicating with each other. And, and, and it's, it's just life is not promised to none of us. And he was 53. And I got him by at least six. Every day when I get up, I thank God. Thank you. Give me another day. Um, one thing you got to learn about me, if I see you on Facebook in the morning, and I get up and say, you up, you make a comment, and I need to talk to you, I'm going to call you. So right now, I got my man who was born in, born in New York, moved to Boston, Got a couple of independent movie sticks, Steven Sticks, Steven Sticks, Josie. Got a new joint coming real soon called The Hills. We got Bill Whitfield, Clifton Powell, Carl Clemens from The Wire, Terrell Hicks, Omar Gooden, my homie, my girl Claudia Jordan, all in the joint. I'm gonna put the link back up again for y'all to see the trailer. But now, after connecting with like my man Sticks and, and, and Riz, yo, Riz, yo, watch out for Riz, though. Riz got something coming for y'all, something for that ass. And um, now we got my brother Raheem from Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Now they're working on the TV, TV series called The Hills. Hey, yo, this is going to be a very interesting project, The Hills. And, you know, some of the same cast from the movie, you know, is going to be in the TV series. Raheem is one of the executive producers. My brother Raheem, keep it up, my man. Talk to hey, yo, if I'm on like right now and y'all see me, do not call me. Don't send no messages, man. I ain't trying to do that right now. Also, talk to my brother Mark Collins. I be talking to my brother's DST. It's back in the early 70s, I went to a school course from um, Eden World Projects called Sousa. And I used to see the Collins brothers in the park over there in Mount Vernon and all that, you know, you know, I moved around the Bronx, Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn, lived in Queens on Sufton and Arlington Terrace and knew about the Fortado, you know, Fortado and uh, 40 projects in Brooklyn, you know, and all that. So let's just take it back here like this, like right now. Saturday, November 5th, rapper card, free, park, family, festival, bonus registrations, MCs all day, food, free, Mount Vernon Park on 4th Street. You know what park I'm talking about. There's going to be a tribute to Heavy D. God bless his soul, Dwight Myers, and brother, I miss you, and everything. 
And I, like I said, you know, Mount Vernon, it's part of our hip hop culture back in the days when DST was going over there. You know, my girl Kimba Jackson, who now runs the Jam Master J Foundation. Hey, yo, we got to get our minds set together in this whole hip hop culture. Seriously, yo, because, like, yo, when you, when you hating, you can never congratulate nobody. Saturday, November 5th, I'm going to throw the link back up for the, you know, for the rapper card. A, a festival that starts, I think, at, at, at 12 o'clock in the afternoon on to 8.30 that night. Also, my girl, Claudia Jordan, she got this thing called Car Conversation. She be in the car with her friend Annie and everything, and they be talking about, we want to know what women be talking about in the car while they riding around. You know, talking. So, like, yo, tonight I think she's gonna do a call conversation on sex. Link up on the YouTube page. Uh, so you can subscribe. So we're gonna try to make this a TV show. I like to shout out to my girl Hoops from the original Flavor Love. We're working on some new things right now. Uh, our hip hop culture is great, y'all. Yesterday, Chuck D said that he felt that LL Cool J should have been put into or at least nominated before Tupac in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Listen, that's a touchy subject. I posted it. Everybody got the right to their opinion. At the end of the day, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five was inducted in 2007. 2009 came Run DMC. 2013 came BC Boys. 2000, uh, no. Beastie Boys came 2009. I got the years mixed. So 2013 was Public Enemy. 2016 was uh, N.W.A. There's a lot of brothers and artists that's never going to make the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and that's why it's important that we create a real. I'm talking about a real with money, not no overnight flyby giving, giving virtual awards type stuff. A real hip hop Hall of Fame. And this is what I was talking about earlier that we need to have our hip hop state dinner so we can start gravitating and putting it towards a perspective. Seriously, yo. Because a lot of y'all not going to get in there. There's a lot of artists, Stephen Wu, Chaka Khan, Sheik, Janet Jackson, it's not even in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet. So it ain't about how hot you are, it's how great did your music make an impact across people on a global aspect. Last but not least, our people care lives matter. It's a very important situation to me. Thank you, Russell, for the contribution. Thank you, Ralph McDaniels, for the contribution. And I want other people to please contribute. There are other things going on with my man Joseph Miller out there in, in Los Angeles feeding the homeless. We have so many people that need help. KG from the Cold Crush Brothers who had heart surgery has a GoFundMe to help catch up. We got to help each other. Stop hating on each other. Last but not least, I got to look at my paper, see what my topic is going to be today. So my grandson, Tom Capone, come from his basketball practice. I'm going to do another one today. Uh, yeah, check this out, y'all. Some of y'all don't get mad. But I got to shout this. When you talk about hip hop, women play a big part in hip hop. I got to give real congratulations for all your youngsters out here that don't know. There was a young lady named Shaw Rock. There was a young lady named Lisa Lee. There was a young lady that DJ named Baby D, Mercedes Lady. There was a young lady named Gail. Yeah. There was a young lady named Missy D out of heart. There's a young lady that was down with DST called Kimber Jackson. Then you got you got inner city disco female D, uh, uh, MCs and DJs. You got little Lee that was down with AJ and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. High and Kenny G called the Serious Four in 79. We got so many sisters that was in the game. We got sequence that came from Columbia, South Carolina, Angie, Gwen, and Cheryl. Sorry, Gwen, Blondie and Cheryl. We got, uh, I mean, we have so many sisters that have never been acknowledged in our culture of hip hop. Whether they was on the flyers or whether they made a record 
they were the innovators, and we gotta protect our sister's legacy. Shaw Rock and Lisa Lee, you had Miss Spinderella from Brooklyn, then you got the original Spinderella, then you got the Spinderella now with salt and pepper. Let's break it down. You got little Lee. God bless her soul. You got Sparky D. You got Wanda D, the DJ. Sisters who've helped pave the way. All I'm trying to say is, let's acknowledge ourselves about the sisters in this culture. You got Queen, Sp Queen Spirey. You, you, you have so many sisters that you are. And, and Shot Rock is the leader. She's the modern day first female MC. We can't say no. Then you had girls up there like Kemba with DST in them. Up there in Mount Vernon. Lisa Lee was with Soul Sonic, Cosmic Force. Missy D out of Harlem. There's so much to go on in this culture. And everybody dick right in their own self. Let's give it to the sisters too. There's a lot of sisters. I have a whole list of sisters from Brooklyn and Queens that were DJs. You got DJ Lady Love, who was born in the Bronx, but proved herself that she was there. Everybody helped cultivate this culture, and we gotta manifest state our sisters. The mother queens of this culture. And this is a very serious topic to me. Because it don't start with salt and pepper. It don't start with Shantae. It don't start with those girls. It start with the sisters who laid the foundation. And yeah, I didn't forget Debbie D when she was down with us girls in 84 with Shaw Rock and them. But that's not Shaw Rock's legacy. Shaw Rock's legacy is the funky four. And we gotta tell the story right. But I'm gonna get into that later on. Cool V got a book. I meant to bring your book out again, brother. But I'm gonna get your book. I'm gonna put a link. Y'all gotta get Cool V's book. Uh Chuck Chill out had a birthday party yesterday. Happy birthday, Charles, Chuck, DJ Steele from the Bronx. That's my man. Charles Oakley came to the party yesterday. Thank you, Charles Oakley, for coming. A lot of people don't even know. The last source magazine party awards that they had in Florida when they ran out of money. Charles Oakley and Michael Jordan came to the forefront and put that paper up. I'm giving out some shout outs to our brothers. But listen, the pagan holidays are coming up. I need you to help me. I need the support. People care lives matter. I don't care if you donate five dollars. I don't care if you say your van, we got some, I got some canned goods. Give me the drop off location. I don't care if you got some clothes that you want to donate. Please. This is serious to me. Otherwise, delete yourself from my page. But I like to say at the end of the day, to Spike, who passed, we lost Jules Jackson. I like to send a shout out to my boys, to the real Zulus, to the real Casanovas, tiny at the Casanovas. The good, you know, the Gestapo. So, you know, I'm not gonna go into all that, but, but like, let's into Dawood Africa, JoJo Spellman, you know, to my man Charlie Rock, you know, I'm not gonna name everybody out here, but I'm just trying to say, listen, man, we all gotta live day by day. We all gotta make sure that we live our life to the fullest. And I want everybody to understand. To love each other and respect each other. This is your brother Vance. I'm putting my heart out right now. My father, 81 years old in the hospital. For the last year, he's been going back and forth and everything. And, I, and it bothers me. I cry every day. But at the end of the day, I got to come out here and do what I got to do. I got to help with my grandkids. And I still got to do my business. I want everybody to love each other. I want everybody to support each other. And I represent today, Fielding Dickinson University. And Russell, thank you for sending me this shirt. Please get me my t-shirt. And to my man, Freddie B, I'm waiting for those t-shirts. Dear Brother Van Silk, I'm out. Today, 
Shout out to all the brothers who want to represent Red. I'm representing Red today. I'm out. Keep it up, brothers. We got to stand tall. Stand tall. I know y'all want to see me catch a drink of this, but I'm not.